<laughs> Roy Wood Jr. joins Password tonight on NBC and Peacock. Well, Studio Skydance now has a new parent company. It seems Paramount Global has agreed to merge with Skydance Media, opening a brand new chapter for the Hollywood studio. And guess what? The deal was approved by a special committee of Paramount board members. Skydance does share that this will now be controlled by Paramount. Now, this move comes as a, after a nearly four decade run by the Redstone family as power players in the media industry. It's so interesting, and it seems that 4th of July weekend is always a big weekend for Hollywood and well this year was no surprise. There were two family movies from different studios that were competing with each other that you know hopefully we're wishing to be number one. I think they all want to be number one right <laughs> so right. that's very exciting and over the weekend Brad Pitt was spotted in costume shooting his new movie. Brianna oh my goodness. loves this guy apparently. He, she loves him. Oh yeah. my goodness. Devin has more <laughs> in details in today's entertainment report. Now the 4th of July weekend was a big boost for this movie. Gru, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? Maxine Laval has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, Gru. <laughs> we have to get to the safe house. It has a vendor in my day. Oh. <laughs> I love this place. Oh, no, no. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Look up. Yeah. <laughs> Despicable Me 4 was the biggest movie at the box office this weekend, projecting a five-day opening of $120 million. The film will still land as one of the biggest Friday to Sunday grosses of the year, making it the fourth highest domestic opening of the year, right behind Inside Out 2, which is still going strong at second place at the weekend box office. The Disney release passed the $500 million mark on the fourth. And A24's horror film Maxine opened at the box office also this weekend, earning a humble $7 million. This film is the third installment in director Ty West's trilogy starring Mia Goth. The series has gained a cult following and positive reviews have helped boost its numbers at the box office. It's been a year since Brad Pitt was spotted at the British Grand Prix, not as a spectator, but as the star of the then untitled film about Formula One racing. So it's no coincidence, perhaps, that yesterday marked the release of the movie's first teaser trailer, F1, as we now know it's titled. It's from Apple Original Films, and it's made in conjunction with the Formula One organization. Take a look. We need to build our car for combat. Uh, how am I supposed to make that safe? Who said anything about safe? According to producer Jerry Bruckheimer, Brad Pitt and co-star Damson Idris trained for three months behind the wheel of Formula 3 and Formula 2 cars. F1 has yet to complete filming and has been rumored to be one of the most expensive films ever made. It's set to be released sometime next year. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Dana Devon. Looks like a lot of fun stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about the Brad Pitt movie? You know what? I am a big fan of Brad Pitt. He's not my number one actor. He's probably my top five for sure. Mm -hmm. okay. But I'm really interested to see this movie, especially because I'm a big fan of race car driving. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My that's grandpa cool. is a big fan, and I would watch it with him sometimes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's fun. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. What did wow. y'all think about the movies? Um, Inside Out 2. I, I mm -hmm. need to see Inside Out 1, because I'm hearing a um, lot of good things about Inside Out yes. 2. Yeah, it was good. But I hear that, you know, you need to probably see one to kind of yeah. get to. Yeah, they go t together. You yeah. have to watch the first one to see the second one yeah, and I haven't seen any of the Despicable Me movies so I've seen the first me too two I think but then the third and this one just kind of just yeah me too just 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 that's same. it guys mm. come yeah. on I was super close to watching Inside Out 2 I think like Monday mm -hmm. and then I fell asleep <laughs> I was like I'm gonna go to the movies I'm gonna make this time and I fell asleep so then I said the next day and I just keep pushing it back mm -hmm. but I will watch it 
Yeah. And then I'll let you know. And you watch it, you let me know. Mm -hmm. Sounds and you good. I already watched it. Your design. Yes, and I it watched, was approved. It was. It yeah. was really good. I really enjoyed myself. Mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. I really recommend the movie. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. you check it out. <laughs> yeah. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for NBC 23 News today. I'm Jeremiah Marshall. I'm meteorologist Brand Medina. And I'm your lifestyle host, Danielle Bonda. Guys, it's yes. National Dimples Day. <gasps> me? Oh, I love you. Look at us. Oh. You have a dimple. You think? No. No. It's hollow. No. Okay. It's, anyway, it's happy it's day there. for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's I just us, wanted yeah. to oh, thank you. feel included. I love this. Sorry, Sorry. So where'd you get your dimples from? I honestly don't know because what? wait, no. I think my question, I think my right? mom had dimples. I don't know. Yeah. I don't really know. I don't oh. know. But when I was a kid, I was always getting compliment on them because mm -hmm. obviously, you know, when you're a Both kid you. and your Aww. face structure is starting to grow. Yeah. yeah. But I had a very like Tiny face, but had big dimples. Oh, okay, okay. And so you know, cute. you grow up, and then your face fills out and stuff like that. Right. But yeah, I always got compliments on my dimples. Mm -hmm. That's so cute. You both are so pretty. Thank <laughs> you. I love my dimples. That's my favorite feature. Yeah. Well, where do you get your dimples from? My mom. My mm. mom has dimples, yeah. And we have the same one. So I don't know if this is a regular thing with people with dimples, but one is a little bit deeper than, yes. the, than the other one. Okay. That's for me, yes. Yeah, so my mom too, and we have the same one that's deeper than the other one. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dimple problems. I know. <laughs> me too. I think it's uh. actually known as a mutation. It if is. I'm, yeah. And it is. And now, I don't know how it became like a beauty standard. But wow. Uh, I know. Yeah. yeah. It's because there's a, a, a muscle, like a tissue mm -hmm. part in your cheek that's missing. So that's why it's considered a mutation. Wow. Yeah. Put a piece of tape here. Any for celebrities that you guys like that has dimples? Mm, I don't know. Nothing. No I one comes to mind. Yeah, yeah. no one. Oh, no. But I do have a girlfriend. She has dimples. And on Instagram, her handle is at dis dimples. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like her identifier. Mm. Yeah. Ms. You guys dimples. can relate. Yes, we can. <laughs> Nicki Minaj has some pretty dimples. That's oh, oh, she does. Oh, she You're nice right I was, I, I was thinking of Black China, but she had oh, the piercings, piercings, and then it yeah. created yeah. a Black dimple. Uh, right. You guys are the original version. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, yes. We woke up like this. You oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> well, happy day for you guys. Yes. Oh, yes. Definitely a happy day. <laughs> and if viewers are just waking up to start their day, they are waking up to warm, muggy conditions. So mm -hmm. very similar to yesterday. Yeah. However, I would say today's going to be a little bit hotter just because we're not going to have as much rain chances as yesterday. So again, we are going to be just warm and muggy overall across the Rio Grande Valley. But what does that mean for this afternoon? Well, conditions are going to be mostly dry for all of us across the Rio Grande Valley and temperatures will be in the upper 90s to low.